on these before or if you follow me on socials you've seen uh, he's actually invited us out to do a, uh, a couple of hot laps in an old V8 supercar so that should be awesome and it seems like it's a public holiday otherwise I'll be sitting around the couch feeling sorry for myself from all the fast food we've eaten this weekend why not but we're not sure if he's here yet and we're sort of just cruising around like lost dogs so we think we're allowed to park where we were um, and we've seen some cars going around the track so I might give um, Sean a bell and see how we go but otherwise I'll just take my car around fuck it <laughs> wear it a sort of brake pads instantly <laughs> I can't afford that shit
laps. We waited around a few hours because we had a lot of car issues. But oh my time. god, it took some time. But that was incredibly fast. <laughs> I'm not sure how the footage is going to look, but at one point we completely lost it. Like we ended up in like a tank slab. So I was looking out my window going straight. Then I'm looking out the driver's window going straight. Like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> and the driver straightened up for a sand, sand trap. And I'm like, yep. Well, been my first um, hot lap and my first crash, but no, he saved it. Um, he's been out there. He owns the car and has been doing laps all day, so he's fatigued as hell. But I couldn't believe how fast he was going. Um, that was awesome. So really, thanks, Sean, and everyone who made it happen. Yeah. Awesome day out. Oh, here's Sean now. He's the man that made everything work. He wants to have a look at my Rexy. I'm Matt Willie Williams. I partied my way through high school. I joined the army straight out of school as a rifleman. I deployed to Afghanistan for eight and a half months as a crew commander at 20 and turned 21 over there. I've traveled the world twice, jumped from planes, dove under the sea, drank from shoes in over 20 countries, and I regret nothing. Returning home in a regular doctor's checkup, I was diagnosed with an incurable, inoperable brain tumor on my 22nd birthday. Since then, I've made it my mission to enjoy my life as much as I can and show that terminal illness doesn't mean your life can't be successful, meaningful, and fucking awesome. Whilst putting in as much effort as I can, to raising money for brain cancer research. 12 months of chemo done, 60,000 plus donated to research, and I'm fucking happier than ever. This is my story of refining my health and redefining terminal illness and smiling through it all.